to my channel. Ew. <laughs> Today is Top 10 Tuesday, and I want to talk... Fish? Fish? She's very chatty today. Tuna does not meow either. She chirps. She's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Hi! So yeah, today is Top 10 Tuesday. Uh, we're going to talk about some of my favorite powders, whether it be powder for setting the face, powder for underneath the eyes, if you want a foundation, translucent, all that jazz. I don't know if I have 10. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 maybe 10 because there's two of the same things sitting right here. Powder to me is super important because it can either make or break your makeup look. There's been times where I've gone to set my face with like certain powders or translucent powders or something like that and it just completely ruins my makeup. So for me a powder is really really important because I'm always setting my makeup. We know I live in Florida. We know it's super humid and hot here. So I need to set my makeup for it to last long on me. Not only do I live in a hot climate, I'm also oily. So, best of both worlds. But I wouldn't want to live anywhere that didn't have humidity because it's actually really, 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 really good for your skin. So this is basically the first time I put makeup on my face since I've been home from India. I just had to take a couple days to kind of decompress. I talked about it a little bit on Snapchat. No. I talked about it a little bit on Instagram stories. Um, just like having anxiety. I've had it for a while um, and it, it it was just out of control when I was traveling. It was the longest I was gone um, from home so <laughs> I just needed like a couple days to like decompress and just be my normal hermit crab self. Without further ado, wait this ring goes on this finger, okay? How cute is this little ring that I got the other day? It's from The Last Line and it's my birthstone so it's a little aquamarine. Can you even see? Where's the light? too bright. It looks like a diamond, but it is not. It's my birthstone. <laughs> I'm going to talk about um, blah, 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 blah. So the one that I use basically all the time now is the Ben Nye Fair powder. I feel like I've mentioned this quite a bit to you guys recently, um, but it's really such an amazing powder, especially like uh, for being on the less expensive side of powders. You really get a pretty good bang for your buck out of this. You get a ton of powder, first of all. I buy mine on Amazon. I use mine in Fair, which has a little bit of pink tint to it, which I like on my skin tone. This powder is super smoothing underneath the eye. This is what I use to set underneath my eye. Let me clarify that in case you know you haven't watched any of my videos recently and you're like, where the do you put this? So I use this guy just strictly underneath my eyes. I don't bake uh, underneath my eyes because I just find that on me it can look a little drying and I don't feel the need to bake. You know what I'm saying? So this guy is very smoothing underneath your eyes. I noticed that I get a very long wear out of it. I just really love all Ben Nye powders. The first one that I ever tried was the banana powder which I feel like was kind of like a big thing on YouTube when it came out where you're like oh my god banana powder like what is this yellow magic setting powder? But for me I've learned over the years that I look a little better with a pink powder under my eyes as opposed to a yellow powder so that's why I just love this guy so much you get so much of it it lasts forever it's super smoothing underneath the eyes and he not expensive all right so one of my next top favors is from Kat Von D um, I know a lot of people have like things to say about Kat Von D but I, that's that's I don't that has nothing to do with me. This foundation powder is still really, really good. As you can see, it is well, well loved. This is a foundation powder, and I do like to set my foundation with this because you know I like a full coverage look. Plus, sometimes I like to use a foundation powder if I feel like my foundation color is a little off because if your powder has a little color to it, you can kind of even it out and make it work for you. I always say that you can make any foundation color work regardless. If you can just hit it with good concealer and good powder, you can really make anything work in your favor. So I really love this guy. I love the color. I use it in medium 145. Even though it is a powder, you still look really smooth and it doesn't give like a dry appearance to the face, which is important with powder. Like even though I do powder the shit out of my face, um, I just feel like I never really look powdery with this guy. Plus, I always use a setting spray at the end of it. It's just gonna bring your skin back to life. Um, but absolutely love this guy. I use it 
all the time. You guys have seen it a lot in my videos recently. So our next guy is from Maybelline, and this is the Fit Me Powder. This is a loose finishing powder, so it is like this. Um, this guy is in fair. If you're wondering why mine is so light, it's because I specifically use it underneath my eyes. I like that it is very smoothing underneath the eyes, and it gives like a really nice texture, like overall texture to the skin. I have used the loose powder all over my face. Um, just for me personally, when I'm setting my makeup, I more so like to use like a press powder like this as opposed to a loose powder um, because I feel that I get more coverage out of a pressed powder than a loose powder and sometimes I find that I use more powder when it's loose if I'm setting my whole entire face so that's why I like to use loose powder specifically for underneath my eyes and then a pressed powder for all over my face so this guy I use in five which is super duper light um, so it's very brightening underneath your eyes as well it looks very white on camera but it does have a little bit of that pinky tone that the Ben Nye powder has as well. And just add that under. But it just kind of helped brighten that. And so we're just going to throw that on the other side too. Yes, ma'am. All right, next is a brightening powder from KKW Beauty. There's not a lot of things that I like. There's two things that I like. I like the number two nude lip liner, and I like this number two brightening powder from her as well. Everything else, I was like, eh, no, no. But this is a really amazing brightening powder. I think brightening powders make such a difference underneath your eyes when you finish with your makeup. It really helps to have, like, this area be, like, very smooth, because sometimes... I don't know if it's just me and I like a lot of blush, but it can be like a little harsh right here when I apply my brush, when I apply my blush, and by applying the brightening powder, it really kind of blurs the line from blush to under eye, which I really like how it gives like a seamless, smooth look. So you guys can tell that this guy is well loved. I probably have like, I can kind of see them over there, and I think there's like six backups over there, but it does make such a difference to me in my like beauty routine and my makeup routine. I just think that it really adds a nice finishing touch to your makeup look because you just look so like seamless from here to here. The next guy is from Hourglass, and this is their Veil Translucent Powder. I forget how good it is because I get stuck on other stuff, but I just saw him sitting over there and I was like, how dare I not have been using this, guys? It is so smoothing and blurring underneath your eyes. It just looks so good. Some translucent powders on me, I still see like a little bit of color. When I use a concealer that is like really bright or I don't want to add any extra color to it, that's when I love to use like a true translucent powder because the Maybelline has a little bit of color to it as well as the Ben Nye has a little bit of color to it. So I really like the fact that this is completely translucent. It's not going to bring any more color to the face. So if you've ever had any kind of issues with creasing underneath your eyes or you just felt like you could never find a powder that worked for you, please try this hourglass veil translucent powder all right the next guy is from charlotte tilbury and this is the flawless airbrush finish powder this is in number two which i think there's only three i think there's light medium and dark um so this is what i like to use to set my face if i don't want to add a lot of extra coverage to it this guy gives like a really smoothing appearance like the name says i mean it's called the airbrush flawless finish so the name definitely does it just the name definitely does it just the name definitely does it justice because you do really look smooth after you apply this to your face. It's not a foundation powder, it's just like a finishing powder. So this is really nice as well. Another great powder from Charlotte Tilbury is their translucent powder, which is the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder. This is for your under eye and for your face. This one is also in number two as well, which is fair medium. This one is like a soft focusing powder. Now I really like the powder itself. The thing that I do not like is the smell of this powder. Okay, it is amazing. I mean, amazing looking underneath your eyes, but the smell, it like smells like an old crayon or something. If you have this powder, do you think it smells like an old crayon or is that just me? Like, it just really smells like an old crayon. It's such a good ass powder that I wanted to mention it to you guys, but I don't use it nearly as much as I should be because the smell is just so strong to me and I don't understand, like, is it only my powder? Is it y'all's powder? 
really good though. <laughs> so the next two powders are the same exact powders. One I use for my face. So I use light for my face, which looks like this here. This is their soft focus hydrate and setting powder. Um, so sometimes like I don't want like a ton of coverage on my face. So I'll use this guy because it's a lot lighter than the Kat Von D one, but you still look like really pretty and like soft. <laughs> There's like cat hair everywhere, y'all. It's honestly insane. That question a lot like in my DMs, like how do you not have cat hair everywhere? I'm like, it's everywhere. <laughs> this is light, which I like to use to set my whole face with. And then I like to use fair every once in a while for like a brightening effect underneath my eyes. I don't know if it's like supposed to be used for like a brightening effect underneath the eyes, but that's what I like to use it for. And I think that it's great because it's like such a tightly pressed powder. And the fact that it's soft focus and hydrating, you never look dry or cakey or anything like that, which is, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but that's like kind of a big deal. You don't want to look dry and cakey. No, I have literally like, a hair just floats. See, look at this. <laughs> so I think that was 10, right? Was that 10? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice to be home and sitting here and filming for you guys. So I will see you guys super soon. We are going to go out to dinner tonight to take the moms out for a late Mother's Day since we were in India for Mother's Day and we were in India for the cat's first birthday. <laughs> my mom's like, they don't know. I'm like, I know, but I know. <laughs> Do I have lipstick on my teeth? So that is it for me. I don't have anything else to tell you guys except I love you and I will see you super soon in a new video. Bye guys.